Oh my god. It's a weird combination of flavors, I must say. Let's get the tune over with. Once the tune is done. Hi, I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Kaylin, and today we're going to be trying the most bizarre foods from Iceland, which are currently trending on TikTok. So we've got Space Raider potatoes. We've got a Louis Capaldi pizza. Beans filled hash browns. And many, many more. So carry on watching and see if it's worth the hype. Let's get into it. Let's go. What have we got there, Caitlin? So we have got crispy shredded chicken, salt and pepper. So basically mm, just salt and pepper chicken. Very nice. Do you like salt and pepper chicken? Oh yeah. I love, salt I love and my pepper chicken. chicken. It's, it's basically a classic salt and pepper chicken. I think this will be a good good first yeah, choice. I'll go for it. So yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, this one it looks be. very crunchy like it says. Mm. I'm gonna go for this little cute piece. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Salty, peppery. It beer. has got a bit of a spice though. The aftertaste. Mm. But yeah, they're like really, really nice. Mm. Out of 10. Um, I think I saw a seven. Do you reckon? I was going to go higher. Chicken. Higher? Yeah, I was going to say a nine. A nine? Yeah, because to be honest, it's got that spice. It's got to be fair, I am just eating away here. You so are just, nice. yeah, you, you must really enjoy it. On to the next. Lovely yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's see, we've got some space readers there. Yeah, this is also a very popular one that's trending on TikTok. So we've got pickled onion flavor, potato shapes. Mm. Are these gone? Well, space readers are. Are they? Aren't they? Like Monster Munch. Oh, you learn something new every day. Um, especially me. Let's go. Peculiar. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. Oh my god, it's that aftertaste. It's just this pickled onion flavour comes out of nowhere. I was gonna say, it just it just hits you when you don't really want it to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> would you get these? Probably not. I don't think I would get them either. Not the biggest fan. What are you giving it? Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> I'll probably give it a five. You know what? I'll go five as well. Yeah, yeah. Decent enough. Okay, so now Andy, we've got our our mac and cheese pie. It's ours. It's ours, it's not yours. I do love a mac and cheese pie. Do That's you? a staple. Have you originally had a mac and cheese pie before? Well, mac and cheese in general, isn't it? Expecting that to be the best. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm really hyped for this one, so yeah. We'll, we'll give it a go. Get creme brulee top. Ooh. There the we go. crunch when you Very cut. crunchy. Yeah. Look at that, oh. It does look very nice. Oh. Phenomenal. That is phenomenal. I don't think I've ever said them word before in my life, but that oh, is man, phenomenal. Oh, table. <laughs> I give it a nine. A nine? Yeah. It's got a lot of flavour to it as well. An eight. An eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. I don't eight think I'd be the whole thing myself if I did get one. What's that? <laughs> ah. Wilson likes mac and cheese, as we can see. Can you smell the cheese off me? <laughs> Spam cheesy fritters. Mm. I've never actually had spam before. I don't think I have either. But I'm not gonna lie, I still don't think I'm, I'm really hyped for it. It doesn't look great on the packaging. You know, I don't go all the It's succulent spam that. though. It's promising succulent. It's, it's yeah, it's not succulent. Here we go, with our okay. cheesy spam fritters. Mm-hmm. Gotta do a nice incision here. What is spam? It's, I believe it's pork meat. Is it? Yes. Oh, I'm petrified. Be grand. I could never do well, I'm a celeb. Feels like it's like crocodile tongue. Right, I'm not doing this now. <laughs> no chance. Oh. oh my god. It's a weird combination of flavours, I must say. Let's get the tune over with. Once the tune is done. <laughs> it's one of those ones where you have to get used to the flavour. I'd say maybe a four. Yeah. Are you gonna go lower? I think you are. Very much so lower. I'd love to give it like a minus one, but we won't be too harsh with it. <laughs> so give it a it's two. It's edible. It's edible. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You're correct there. It is edible. Bring that in. What do we got here? So, chicken. Come on, you can read that one. I out. love my chicken. Chicken Louisiana. Hot chicken. mess. <laughs> that is a hot mess of a mouthful. <laughs> With Frank's um, red hot buffalo wing sauce and, and, and ranch sauce. 
Interesting. We'll yeah. give that a go. Give it a try. I like that. Am I going first, just on my own? Well, that was the smallest piece I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm scared. See, you do well with spice, like straw. That's really nice. I really like that. I thought I thought it was going to be like very overpowering. No. But the blend of the sauces go really nicely. As a connoisseur of chicken. Mm. That's yeah. actually quite nice. It basically tastes the exact same what you get in the restaurant. I don't see any different to it, really. What would you rate that? I, do you know what? I'd, if you're a fan of chicken, a fan of spices, TJ Fridays, I'll give that a 10. Like a yeah. very high rating, yeah. I think I'll give it a 10 as well. Mm -hmm. Two 10s on the board. Two 10s on the board, probably the best one, best meal out of the choices that we've had. Bring that in there, Caitlin, what we got? We've got a very oh, wow. special one. We've got a Louis Capaldi pizza. The big, sexy, cheesy one. <laughs> the big, sexy, cheesy one specifically. Is, is his face going to be on the pizza? No. But like, I reckon people go in the, like, the store in um, Iceland and be like, oh my God, a Louis Capaldi pizza. Like his, his, his face, face must be on his it. His face must be on it, of course. Otherwise, what the hell is the point? Oh. There's no way, no, I'm a, no. It's it is big, big. But I want to say that's sexy. Would you have said it's sexy if Louis Capaldi was on it? Hell yeah. I'm just very disappointed. So let's just friggin' try it. <laughs> All right, let's tuck in. Chin chin. Yeah, chin chin. It has a cheesy flavour reminiscent of Pizza Hut. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Mm. See, I do like a good pizza and but not much, I uh, pizza. not much tomato. No. Do you think this is big and sexy and cheesy? It's big and cheesy, but... Not sexy. Not sexy, you know. If Louis Capaldi's face from there, I'd probably be sold. Yeah, I'd probably give the pizza a good nine. Just a nine? Just put it straight up there, yeah. It's just your standard classic. Because it's very cheesy. Eight. An eight, I'm yeah. Great. Still, still a um, high Still rating. decent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we are, killing the main event. The main event. Heinz beans filled hash browns. Yeah. What, how do you feel about these? I haven't had beans in maybe 15 years. I was going to say the same. I don't really like them. Not so lie. I'm, I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I'm excited to see what flavour goes on in my mouth. I know. It's strange because I love hash browns. Like, love, love hash browns. Mm -hmm. But beans inside a hash brown, it's different, you know. Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing, yes. Beans filled hash browns. Let's give them a whirl. <laughs> Good presentation. Oh. oh. <laughs> a lot less beans than I thought there'd be. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like filled. Um. It's going to sound a lot so daft. Once. Yeah, it's going to sound daft. However, if you have a full English breakfast, it basically just tastes like you've just scooped up your hash brown and beans together yeah, in yeah. it, but it's consumed in a rectangle object. <laughs> Rectangular form, yeah, English it tastes, breakfast. If I'm going to give it a fair rating, excluding the fact that I don't want beans, mm -hmm. um, I'll probably give it a seven. A seven? A seven. I'll stick with six. So, so yeah. Heinz beans, beans filled hash browns. <laughs> right, we've got a dessert this time. But it's not your ordinary dessert, it's a Jaffa cake dessert. But not any ordinary Jaffa cake mm. dessert. The Iceland Jaffa cake dessert. And a, an Iceland one and a TikTok trending one. But I suppose it's given like a cheesecake well, I dessert. I don't know what this is. Oh, and what's the cream? Because not, that's not Jaffa cake, is it? It's new and we're going to try it just for you. Not for me. Just for you. Just for you. So let's give it a go. <laughs> Cheers, chin chin. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> soft. That sponge is really nice. That's, that is I really like soppy. that. Not the classic Jaffa cake taste. Oh, but that orange. Yeah, it's quite nice. The orange mm. um, layer is obviously <laughs> what's inside the Jaffa cake that's in there. And it tastes the Jaffa. Exactly the same. The Jaffa. I think it all goes very, very well together. And I'm a sweet gal. I'm. I go for sweet things rather than savoury, so this one's a, this one's, I'm going to give this a nine. I'd say, oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a seven. Mm. Decent, rather sweet. Give it a nine and I definitely would, would buy it if I saw it in the shops. So yeah. So yeah, that is all the craziest foods that we've tried. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these foods and what you thought about them. See you in the next one. <laughs>